Hello, my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm making a beef skillet, which is easy, healthy, and comes together in just 30 minutes. This is a great recipe for a busy weeknight now that everybody's getting back to schedules and routines. It's super flexible and it's family friendly. So I've got a nice big skillet heating up over a medium heat. I'm using a classic cast iron skillet, but you could use any type of large saute pan that you have on hand. Once the pan heats up, I'm adding one pound of grass-fed ground beef into the pan, and right away, I'm gonna start to break this up with my spatula so that we're just getting it into little crumbles. And I also like to season as I go, so a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Now, just a side note, you could also do this with ground chicken, ground turkey. You could even do ground vegetable crumbles if you are not a meat eater, so lots of options here. Once my meat begins to brown up like it is here and all that pink is cooked away, I push it over to one side of the pan and I'm gonna add in one chopped onion and one chopped bell pepper. Again, a little bit of salt over the top and I just let the veggies go for a couple minutes so they begin to soften a bit. Once I see that raw edge is coming off the veggies, I'm gonna mix this into the meat and again, we're pushing everything over to one side of the pan. And now in goes one heaping cup of chopped up baby bella mushrooms and three cloves of chopped garlic. Give that a little bit of salt, mix it together, give it a couple minutes again to get the raw edge off the veggies. Now the baby bellas are just the little portobello mushrooms. They look just like this. And because mushrooms become very waterlogged if you rinse them underwater, the way I like to clean them is just by taking a wet towel or a damp paper towel and just wiping any excess dirt off the top just like that and then you can just pop the stems off and chop them up. Once these veggies begin to soften up as well I'm gonna mix them in along with the meat and the rest of the vegetables get everybody combined really well then in goes two 15 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. I'm using diced tomatoes that also have Italian seasonings on them. You don't have to, but you know, it's an easy way to add a little more flavor if you can find it at the grocery store. So two cans of that and one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. A big old tablespoon of Italian seasonings, another pinch of salt, a little bit more black pepper seasoning as we go, and then I'm gonna get this all mixed together really well. Now, you're gonna see right now that it looks really liquidy. It looks like there's a lot of tomatoes, but from here, I'm just gonna let this simmer for about 15, 20 minutes, and it's gonna slowly thicken up. All of those flavors are gonna come together, and you are gonna have one of the most delicious easy to make weeknight meals ready to serve. While that's simmering, it is a good time to think about what you wanna serve this with. It would be great served right over some traditional pasta, some brown rice. It would also be great over some zoodles if you wanna get more veggies onto your plate. And my personal favorite way to serve it is over some roasted spaghetti squash. So really, even though it's a beef skillet, you're getting a little bit of meat and then a huge plate of vegetables. And if you want to learn how to roast the spaghetti squash, I will of course link to that down in the description box below. You're gonna see after about 15, 20 minutes, it starts to thicken up a bit and it looks just like this. So what I like to do is finish it off with some fresh chopped basil, give it a little bit of vitality and brightness and some Parmesan cheese. If you like spicy, also a little bit of red pepper flake would be delicious here. But since we're serving this for the whole family, I'm gonna keep it nice and mild. This is a great meal to serve family style. It's an easy way to feed a crowd. And it's also ideal for meal prep because you can make this on the weekend, put it into individual containers and easily enjoy it throughout the week. Once I plate it up, I love to just finish it with a little extra fresh basil and some Parmesan cheese right over the top for each plate as well. So simple, mm. so delicious, so good. So excited for you to give this recipe a try. And when you do, make sure that you snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and Facebook so I can see all of the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share this video with anybody else you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Because it already has some good lean protein in there, it didn't say what the percentage of meat was. Okay. I love that this, um, nah. I love that ultimately this is a big pan of vegetables with a little bit of meat mixed in. And our, okay, stay with me here. Ready? Mm -hmm.